Get on with your life. Mark Dolan tears Harry apart for his Spike Tell All memoir, It Hurts Queen. Prince Harry was blasted by GB News Mark Dolan who called on him to get on with his life and spike his tell-all memoir over fears the controversial book could hurt the royal family. The release of Prince Harry's controversial tell-all memoir book, which has been written with the help of ghostwriter Junior Moringa since 2020, will reportedly be delayed, a royal insider told The Sun. The Duke of Sussex's intimate and heartfelt memoir was due for release the autumn of this year by publisher Random House. But its omission on the publisher's marketing list has raised eyebrows within royal circles who fear it could further damage the royal family's reputation, notably Camilla's, the Duchess of Cornwall. GB News Mark Dolan launched into a long rant about the unnecessarily damaging book and urged the Duke of Sussex to leave the royal family once and for all. Mr. Dolan said, when you think of great authors, who springs to mind? Charles Dickens, John Steinbeck, Stephen King, J.K. Rowling? What about Prince Harry? Yes, the ginger Windsor himself the world's least happy millionaire has a book in the pipeline. It's being pitched as a semi-autobiography but looks set to be the greatest work of fiction since War and Peace, and probably just as boring. Well, there's trouble in paradise folks because the press are reporting that the intended launch of the book has been delayed to next year. Sounds like a touch of right royal writer's block, Mr. Dolan said. Well, let's hope this privileged Aristo doesn't shake it off because his proposed tell-all term threatens to do more damage to his family relations, to his reputation in this country, to the venerated institution in which he was born and it will exact more needless stress and anxiety on his 96-year-old grandmother, the Queen. Not satisfied with dissing his dad saying that he was less than a great father and pouring a cold bucket of the brown stuff over his entire family during that Oprah Winfrey non-interview. In an interview with Oprah Winfrey in March of last year, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry criticized the British monarchy as an institution shortly after their decision to step down as working members of the royal family in January 2020. Meghan revealed her suicidal thoughts, the struggles of living in the royal family, and the royal family's potential refusal to grant her baby Archie a royal title. Harry claimed also to have been questioned by an unnamed member of the royal family about how dark Archie's skin would be. The Duke of Sussex has been writing his tell-all autobiography from a jaw-dropping £11 million mansion in Montecito, California, where the couple reside with their two children, Archie Harrison and Lilibet Diana. Mr. Dolan continued, it seems this lad wants to pen a misery memoir in which he moans for 300 pages about how terrible his life is. The irony will be lost on him, of course, that this tearful account will be penned from his luxury 16 bathroom Montecito mansion. I wish he'd flushed the manuscript down one of those loos. I've got no problem with Harry moving on, but that's exactly what he needs to do, and therefore spike this miserable memoir, which will further hurt the people who love him and damage the country that gave him everything. As long as he keeps his title swanning around the world as a global prince and signing multi-million dollar deals off the back of his royal status, then hypocritical Harry will have failed to do what he said he wanted to do all along, which is to leave the country and leave the monarchy. My message to Harry is a simple one, get on with your life, mate. We wish you well. Give up the navel gazing. Stop slacking off your family. Scrap the book and start a new chapter. If this autobiography does come out the only place it will be welcomed is in the bargain bin of your local bookshop, Mr. Dolan concluded.